everybody, Will Campbell here with the Campbell Group and World of Page Atlantic. Thanks so much for checking out this video. If you've seen last week's video where we did a brief market update, you'll know that I talked briefly about months of inventory. I didn't get into too much detail in that video about what months of inventory are, or how it's calculated, or what it means, and stuff like that. But I thought I'd hop on and do a quick little video here and explain months of inventory because, in my opinion, months of inventory is the most important statistic to look at when trying to gauge what a market's doing. Okay, so first of all, why is it called months of inventory? Well, it's called months of inventory because it's a way of determining if no other realtor listed another property, how long would it take in order for every property to become sold? Now, obviously it's a theoretical number because there are some houses out there that just straight up will never sell. But let's just assume all of them are saleable. How long will it take until all of them are gone? It's the best way of, measure, of measuring pace of sales in the market. We can look at sale prices, we can look at the total number of sales, but at the end of the day, they're only gonna give you a glimpse into what's actually going on in the market. I could have a record number of sales in one month and that would, to most people, indicate a strong market. But if I also had a record number of listings, it doesn't necessarily mean that things are going crazy. So why do we care about how many months of inventory we have? Well, it's the way of determining what type of market you're in. So most people have heard people say, whether it's your relatives or a real estate aides, they'll say, oh, well, it's a buyer's market or, oh, well, it's a seller's market. And most of them don't fully understand what that means, but there actually is a formula for determining what type of market you're in. And what we use is months of inventory. If you have four months of inventory in your market, that's considered a neutral market. Some people might argue that it's closer to six, but you know, let's say four to six months. That's kind of your, that's neutral. And what that means is that the current conditions of the market don't favor the seller and they don't favor the buyer. It's the closest thing to an even playing field for buyers and sellers. Now, if you're sub four months of inventory, say you only have two months of inventory, that would mean that you are in a seller's market. The conditions of that market heavily favor the seller and not the buyer. It is much more difficult to be a buyer in that market than it is to be a seller. These are markets where you would see very few listings for sale. When houses do go up for sale, you'll normally see multiple offer scenarios quite frequently and houses will sell for their asking price, if not a little bit more. Over six months of inventory would indicate that you are in a buyer's market, meaning that there is a surplus of listings to pick from and conditions favor you in finding a home. You can have sellers play off of one another. These are normally markets where you see lots of listings. The listings are 90 to 100 days on market, sometimes even more before they sell. And when they do sell, they sell for 10, 15, 20K below the asking price on average. So let's just run through a scenario. Say there are currently 500 houses for sale in Halifax Dartmouth. And let's say the current pace of sales is 500 sales per month. We have 500 houses for sale. There's 500 selling per month. That would mean we have one month of inventory. And what that means is that in one month's time, every house will be sold if no other listings come. Right now in Halifax Dartmouth, I don't have the exact numbers in front of me, but I think we're sitting somewhere between two to 2.5 months of inventory, which if you compare it to April of last year, February of last year, it's doubled or tripled. But if you compare it to the last 10 years, I mean, me personally, I'm in my 10th year in real estate. When I joined, I think the month of inventory were around 10 or 11. I think it might've even got to 12 at the, the worst point of my career. So if you compare it to eight years ago, let's say it's very, very, very good. Very strong conditions if you're a seller. If you're a buyer, you definitely wish you had a bought six years ago, but there's still opportunity out there and there's still good deals. You just have to work a little bit harder to find them. Okay, I hope you found this information valuable. Hopefully if you're somebody who likes to watch the market and, find, and keep up to date with what's going on, make sure you're paying attention to the months of inventory. Don't just look at average sale price. It is not the best way of determining what's actually going on. And if you're somebody out there who is contemplating hiring a real estate agent, please make sure that they understand months of inventory and can recite what I said back to you. All right, take care and we'll see you on the next video.